Welcome, everybody, to the uh, Sunday show here on the Cowboy Slot channel. We have a little bit different of a live stream planned for everybody today. Uh, this is going to be a topic-specific live stream. So essentially how this is going to go is uh, we're going to give you guys a little presentation, and today it's going to be on cashless slots. Um, we will still take questions, but we will only be pulling questions that are specific to today's topic. So uh, if you have questions that come up about cashless slots, we'll be glad to jump in and take those. Um, but essentially, we're going to go ahead. We're going to just dive right into it about cashless slots today. So um, recently, Mark and I were in Reno. We got to go to IGT's headquarters, and they happen to have their new uh, IGT pay system there, um, which is a cashless system. And we actually got a chance to really look this system over, see how it worked and all of that. And honestly, we were pretty surprised about a lot of the features that it comes with. Um, and I know we asked you guys too in, in different polls and such about what your thoughts were on cashless slots. And majority of people said that, you know, I don't want cashless slots or anything like that. Um, there were a lot of concerns, obviously, about uh, security, how it's going to work, is it attached to your player's card, and hopefully we can clear all of that up for you to, here today, um, since we've actually seen the system in action and seen how it works. And it is coming. Cashless slots are definitely coming. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a pretty slow rollout. Um, it's not going to happen overnight uh, by any means, but we're going to go over kind of each of the features of cashless slots and exactly how it works. But I will say uh, and, and Mark, feel free to chime in uh, any time. I was really impressed by exactly how this cashless system is going to work. Yeah, I think that, um, I mean, it is inevitable, like Brantley said. I mean, everything's moving cashless these days, whether we like it or not. Um, but I think you guys might be a little bit surprised. Uh, when, I know my initial reaction when I heard about this is like, oh man, people are going to get into big trouble with this because it's just now it's a lot easier to put cash into a machine because you can put 500 in at a time with just a click of a button, right? Pretty scary. But after we saw the entire system and how it worked, I think you guys might be pleasantly surprised to find out some of the things that they've built in to try to ease the fears that people might have. Um, they're being very responsible about it. And, and we we expect nothing less from IGT. Like IGT, and I'm, I mean all the vendors, honestly, um, they take uh, gambling responsibilities so, 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 and it's just so important to them. Um, because of that, they were never going to do something like this without some kind of protections built in place. And we'll get into some of those details a little bit later. But um, uh, Brantley, I thought it was a really cool presentation. It's not even something that we were looking for. We got pulled aside and they're like, hey, check this out. And our eyes just oh, yeah. lit up with how cool it was, um, just the technology and how it worked and everything. Um, so, Brantley, why don't you talk a little bit about like what what it is, like what does it actually do? Yeah, and we'll, we'll go into some of the features just a little bit. So, one thing that I have to say too, because obviously we 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 took a poll from you guys about how you felt about cashless slots, and of course, everybody right off the bat, which you know, it's a natural reaction that we have as human beings, and that's you know it's something new. It's a big change. You know, we saw this exact same thing, the exact same pushback from when we moved from coin slots to uh, ticket slots. I mean, we see that in every aspect of technology. I remember when the iPhone first came out, uh, there were a lot of people that were like, you know, I'm never going to use that. It doesn't even have a keyboard. And now look at you all today. Um, so it, it's a natural response that we have um, as humans and as technology evolves. And I think the biggest thing is the misunderstanding a lot of people don't understand how it works. So first of all, we'll, we'll start with that. How exactly does it work? Um, so first off, it is not linked to your player's card. It has nothing to do with your card. So the current systems that uh, cashless that you might be experiencing is like on cruise ships where you can you know, put money on your card and then you have your card with you and put your card in the machine. That is not the case. Uh, essentially what the cashless system is, is it's like an Apple Pay almost. So it has an NFC reader on the machine and you basically you'll have your phone and you say, I want to put $500 into the machine. You take your phone and you beep it onto the machine. It puts $500 into the machine. That's it. So there's not a link or anything like that. Uh, it's not going to continue to pull from your account. It's the exact same as if you were to put cash into the machine or a ticket into the machine, you're just doing it with your phone. Um, the cool feature. And I do want to say this, because this is a feature that really blew me away that honestly, 
takes security to a whole other level. It's geofenced to your phone. So for example, you know, if I take my phone and I say, okay, I want to put $500 on this machine and I, you know, beat my phone up to the machine and, you know, $500 goes on there. But then let's say I get distracted by something or I leave the second I get up out of my chair and walk away, it caches out of that machine and puts it back onto the phone into your account. So it's almost like a more secure way because you're never leaving your money unattended. If you have to go to the bathroom or you have to get up and leave, it's going to take that money out of the machine so nobody else can cash it out or grab it. Right. So that's one big security thing. But the most important thing to realize is it has nothing to do with your player's card. I think that was a big concern of everybody's, um, you know, everybody thinks that it's going to be attached to their player's card, and it's not. This is not a casino system or anything like that it's essentially works the exact same way as apple pay does I, uh, mark do you want to jump in on that well i mean it's exactly right like the reason that they're not going to attach it to the player's card is this really the because it's none of the casino's business how much money you have to gamble with um and there's still going to be protections in place uh, they should not know that you have nine thousand of the cash in your checking account they, they will never be able to look at that information uh, so that's why it's not linked to your player's card um, but a couple of extra things. I see some good comments in here already. Uh, Brian says that um, uh, which blockchain was used in the technology that you experienced. So it's not, it's not Bitcoin. It's not those types of cash. It's still very much cash. Um, you know, not Ethereum or Bitcoin or anything like that. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the ability for you to take your checking account and to link it to your account on your phone. Um, it's like an MGM app or whatever the casino app is. And then when you do that, um, then you can push money to and from the machine just like you would um, if you were putting a ticket in or putting cash in. It works exactly the same. It's just removing the cash part of it, like the physical cash part of it. Um, and then the next thing is, is uh, this is a really good question. Uh, what if you don't have any banking on your phone? Well, it doesn't matter because what are the things that you're going to be able to do? And this kind of gets into the protection stuff. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and nail that down here too. So one of the things that they're going to allow you to do is go up to the casino cage and you're going to have to do this to set this up anyway initially is that they are giving you full control over to set your own limit so you can say only allow me to play five hundred dollars a day only allow me to play fifty dollars an hour whatever criteria that you want to come up with you tell them and they will enforce that in the app and i think that is really important and really cool um, that's something i know i personally would use the hell out of because uh, it would restrict yeah. me from overextending myself by having those limits in place but the second thing is if you don't have a bank account or anything linked to it that's completely optional you don't have to do that you can go up and give the cage five hundred dollars and then we'll put it on your card or on not on your card but on the actual app itself so that you can pull from it from there. So if you like the more traditional control where you just want to have, you know, you just want to give them cash, you don't want them to have access to your bank accounts or whatever, that's perfectly okay. That's still going to be there. You will just handle all that at the cashier cage, just like you would normal cash. Um, guys, this is, even though it's starting to come out, this is like Brantley said, this is going to take a long time. So I don't want you guys to get like sticker shock. Um, even yeah. though this is going to be a feature, this is going to be one of those things where they will roll it out, but it's going to be optional. So people who still want to play with cash, they can still do that. Like no casino is going to shut that off and go pure yeah, ca I, cashless right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing like, so this, this question here from Richard makes a good point. So what about people that don't own a smartphone guys? The, the system is not replacing the bill validator. You can right, still play right. the machine with cash. It's just an, an additional option, which to be perfectly honest, you know, I mean, after seeing all of the details of this new system, it's a lot more secure than cash. It's a lot safer than cash. You can put limits on yourself. Um, and there's another cool feature too. Um, and actually this is, kind of goes into what Amanda here uh, is saying, can you cash out like you can now receive a uh, cash out ticket? So you can, um, if, you, if you would prefer a ticket, you can, you can still do that obviously. But there is a very cool feature about this new cashless system that I absolutely really love. Let's say you win a jackpot for example. So with this new system, let's say you get a jackpot, we'll just call it $4,000. Let's just say you won $4,000. You can send the money directly from the machine to your bank account and then have a wall where you can't touch it. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Like that to me, 
is the ultimate form of, because I know we got a lot of comments about people saying, you know, this is going to be bad for gambling addicts. I actually think it's going to do the opposite. I think it's going to do a lot better for people that can't control their budget because now you have the option of it's like, you know, if you win big or if you're really building up, you can push a button. It goes directly to your bank account, right to your Chase or Wells Fargo or whoever you use. And it's done. You, you know, and and then the, the money's in your bank account and you can have it like like Mark said, you can set up different limits and stuff to where you can't pull it back out. And I think that is going to be incredible, um, especially for people that have, uh, you know, issues with gambling. And uh, Margaret actually makes a makes a good point. No more ATM fees. Guys, ATM fees really do add up. Um, and yet yeah, this does eliminate a lot of. Uh, I have no, I have not heard anything about fee structure or anything like that, but I don't think there is any. Um, obviously, I don't remember him saying time, that there was. But yeah, know, if anything, the casino is going to be eating the fees um, on something like this. But uh, we didn't, we didn't get too deep into the weeds on that. But I, I imagine this is not going to be a fee nightmare like every transaction or every time you cash out, no. there's a fee. No, nothing like that. No. Um, this is a really good comment. I wanted to bring this up. Um, Antoinette says, uh, I think this will be the downfall for casinos since we are in control of what we want to gamble and lose. Um, I, I think actually, you know, believe it or not, and a lot of people don't believe this because most people think that casinos are out to screw everybody. I don't know what, why that is. Um, it's, it's gambling, guys. They're just the house that holds all the gambling equipment, right? They're not out to screw you. Um, if anything, um, this will allow you to maintain control and it will allow you to keep coming back. People that have a bad experience in a casino where they go and they blow through their cash within the first couple hours, they typically do not return to that casino because they're assuming the casino is tight, and I'm using that in air quotes, or they're assuming that the casino was out to screw them or whatever the case is, um, but you just had poor money management. That's what it was. It wasn't the casino. You right. just lost control, <laughs> right? But this is a way that you can force yourself to have control where you cannot do that with cash. It's not easily anyway. You know, a large part of the stuff that we've talked about on this channel is about taking half of your cash and giving it to a friend or putting it in the safe in the room or hiding it in your car and all these different things. But you still have cash floating around with the anticipation of somebody finding it and stealing it or whatever the case is. I very much would prefer to have a casino that would allow me to say, I only want to be able to take $500 out, $500 out a day and don't let me do any more than that. You know, that way I can leave everything right. at home and not have to worry about it. Um, to me, that is a better scenario overall. And casinos, you may think that they don't care about that, but they really do. Because if you do have a good experience or even a bad experience in the casino, but you didn't lose your ass, you'll be back. And that's what they really want. They want you to come back and they want you to be healthy gamblers. So... You know, I think the opposite on that, but, uh, now Bradley, yeah, what do you, you think? know, and you know, there's, uh, there, there's some comments, there's some comments coming in here. I'll just pull up a couple of them. Clyde says, I don't want my money where it can be accounted for by outsiders. Well, I have some bad news for you. Your money's <laughs> always accounted for, uh, you know, and even our moderator, Tammy says, well, the IRS be monitoring that the IRS does monitor everything. So, yeah. uh, I mean, it's no different guys. If you use a bank, your money's being tracked. Yeah. Sorry to break the news to you. <laughs> you know, like yep. uh, AZ Wife says again, you're attaching your bank account to the casino. You're not attaching your bank account to the casino. This is right. an independent system. This is the your casino app. does not. Your, the, your this account. is your app. Exactly. If if you have you guys ever purchased something on Amazon? If the answer is yes, can the casino see your Amazon? No, they can't. It's going to be the exact same way. Right. You know, I, I, people, I think, are really overthinking this way too much. It, guys, it is a really, really good, good system. I'm just telling you right now. It's a really, yeah, really and this good is, system. And this is, you know, this is right from, from just watching a demonstration of it. They're, we're not pushing it because they told us to push it or anything like that. Like, we're not, we're not invested in this or anything like that. We just think it's cool because we're trying to see the positives of this. Are there negatives? Yes, but there's negatives with everything, right? There's pros and cons, mm -hmm. and you guys just need to be able to evaluate what's important to you. Um, if you're really scared of this, then you shouldn't do it. <laughs> like it's okay. You're still going to be able to put money right. into the into the slot machine. That's that's not changing. Um, this is just a new way because this is, you know, this is the way things are moving. I mean, as much as I hate it, there are some coffee shops around here that won't even accept cash, and I think that's ridiculous. But 
you know, that's just the way we're moving, and, it's the, and they're trying to keep up, and so that's why they wanted to offer something like this. But they're doing it in right. a way where it's giving you way more control than you probably think. You know, the ability to just walk away from the machine and have your money just automatically cash out and go back to your account on your phone is really cool, I think. Um, and also just being able to control how much you send to the machine. I saw another uh, comment in here. I don't know if I started it where someone says, well, what if you don't know how much you're going to spend on the machine? You, con you control down to the dollar or even the penny how much you want to put on that machine. It's not going to give you like 100, 200, 300, and you got to pick one of those. You tell the machine how much you want to send over there. It's just a cashless transaction. That's all it really is. But I think the pros here, again, I'm going to say it again, but I think the pros here is what's something that I've always wanted casinos to um, allow and that is to force people to put restrictions on their ability to get cash. That's what I'm focusing mm -hmm. on so heavily with this thing. I used to think, you know, wow, it'd be cool if, they, if you could put your player's card in and it would say you can't add anything else to this machine because you've, you've done your limit. The problem with that is then people would just not put their card in and then they can't check that. But this is different. You can leave all your cards and everything at home and just load the app with the money that you want to spend in the casino and tell them, I only want a hundred dollars an hour to be able to be pulled out of this. Like you can do whatever parameters you want. I think that's really cool. A lot of us need that kind of stuff, you know? And so I'm seeing the positive right. from that perspective, but I don't want you guys to get worried that it's like, this is taking the industry over. Like it's not going to be that way. This is just another way to add, you know, try to think back to the day when, you know, <laughs> you, you you go to McDonald's and, and you want to use your credit card and they had the physical swipe where they went like that to swipe your card and all that. It's, you know, it's come a long way, but they're still accepting cash. Like it's still going to be okay to play with cash. Like you always used to, this is just a new way. And I think it has some added benefits. That's going to be really cool for you guys. Honestly, it is going to have a lot of added benefits, especially to those that honestly, the biggest people that are going to benefit from this are going to be those that, um, feel that they might have an issue or they have an issue controlling their budget. Um, because again, like Marcus said, those limits are very important. Um, this is actually going to help a lot more people than, than people realize right now. Um, and, and obviously like with any, anything with technology, it's hard to sit here and describe without first showing like, uh, you know, we'll use the iPhone for example. You know, everybody, like when the iPhone first came out, people were like, how do you even use this without a physical keyboard? Well, and now it's like it's second nature to everybody, uh, you know, because everybody understands it. Everybody knows about it. Um, this is really going to be one of those things that people aren't going to really see the benefits until it is more widely implemented. And speaking of uh, implementation, I want to pull up. Uh, just a couple um, comments here. This one, uh, Jason from Facebook, he makes a good point. Um, does that restrict you to one casino? I guess you can budget for multiple places. It takes a plan. Uh, not too many uh, DGENs have a plan. So uh, great question, Jason. So this is a, uh, the actual system itself, the cashless system itself, it is going to be an upgradable option um, that casinos can put onto their machines. So, uh, you know, for example, like the IGT system. So if, they decide if the casino says, you know what, we're going to use the IGT system. Chances are the surrounding properties, like in Las Vegas, for example, it, it's like Apple Pay and Google Pay. You know, it's like most places accept both. Um, so if MGM decides that they want to use the IGT system, then, you know, all of the MGM properties are going to use the IGT system and so on and so forth. And it's an easy upgrade for them. Um, you know, it, they, we're not talking about, you know, new machines or anything like that. This is an upgrade for, you know, any machine can have it. If a machine has a player's, you know, player tracking system in it, then it can have it. So um, it will be available in a lot more places than just one casino property. Um, and the nice, the nice part about it is, um, is again, and I, I gotta, I gotta pull up this comment from that, the geofencing part of the app. Um, this is a lot more secure and safe guys. It really is a lot more secure and safe. Um, and you know, I, I got to pull this up again, guys. So J, uh, J, uh, J says, sorry, I don't want uh, how I spend my money to be tracked. I've got some news for you. If you live in the world, you're being tracked. Yeah. Ever, I mean, come on guys. I, you know, 
if, if you buy something on Amazon, your money's being tracked. If you have a bank account, your money's being tracked. If you use right. money, your money being tracked. So, you know, it's, I mean, come on guys. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that, that's if you live in the world, you're being tracked in some way, shape or form. Um, this, I mean, this you, is just a yeah. more secure way to do it. If you're I mean, if you're concerned, I mean, I mean, I think I could see people saying, well, I don't want my bank to know that I'm doing withdrawals to a certain certain casino um, in case I'm trying to apply for a loan. And they're like, oh, you're just losing. You're just using this money to gamble with stuff like that. You know, if you're worried about that, then don't use this for this purpose. Like, you know, take cash where it's, you know, they don't know what you're doing with your cash. Um, this is for people that, you know, don't, and it's just part of their daily lives of, you know, taking money out and going to the casino. Whether, I mean, if you go to the casino and you take money out of that ATM, the ATM, you know, is located like it has, it tells you exactly where it was, you know, so it's your bank is already going to know that you use that ATM. Um, but it's just, it's a different, I see this as just something different. And you guys got to remember that this is not replacing anything right now. And it's, it probably won't for the next 10 years. Um, this is just an added benefit. And, and guys, like I see your comments, like I want you guys to really focus hard on the, on the, the things that, where this is going to be a big benefit. I see this mm -hmm. as something where I can, everything that we talk about, like setting your loss limits, like saying, I'm going to play this down to 50 bucks and then I'm going to leave being able to have the app automatically pull your money out when you get to $50 to prevent you from playing that any longer, stuff like that. That is, that is good. That is forcing you into money management. And I think more of us need that. So for some people, this is going to be really good because you can put all of those controls in place where if you just have a lot of cash in your pocket, it's really hard. You have to have a lot of willpower to convince yourself to not keep putting bills in there. And mm -hmm. so I, I want to focus more on that. For me, I want this because of those reasons. I think my concern with you know the bank account knowing and all that stuff, I don't really care about that because I'm just trying to stay... I'm not doing anything nefarious here. Like people gamble. It's, it's your, it's your business. You know, it's not your bank's business that you gamble. Um, but anyway, right. I'm just kind of rambling. Yeah, at there this was, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I was going to address a couple of comments here. So Paul, uh, Paul's, you know, obviously, you know, worried about hackers and stuff in the casino Wi-Fi. So guys, it's not Wi-Fi. It's using no. NFC. It's the exact same right as tap to, to pay. It, yeah. You know I mean? Every, you know, almost every single debit card now has an NFC chip in it that's tapped to pay. It's the exact same way. Exactly right. Um, it's it's so you really don't have to worry. I mean, there's no Wi-Fi involved with that. Right. Um, uh, David had mentioned something about WTGs. WTGs obviously are IRS related. They're not going to be. It's going to be the exact same process. So when you win a jackpot, you're still going to have people come out and stuff like that. Um, so that's still going to be the same. Um, this one, uh, Miss Duke actually has a great, uh, a great question here. Um, what if you lose your phone? Can someone else use that phone to get your cash? It's the exact same as, you know, and I'm, I'm not sure. And maybe you don't use, you know, things like Apple pay or Google pay or Android pay or anything like that, but it's the exact same way. So, you know, if your phone has face ID, touch ID, uh, passcode, anything like that, it's, that's going to be required every single time you go to do anything. So if your phone gets stolen, you know, as long as it's secured under face ID or touch ID or anything that you have um, or two factor authentication, whatever it is, uh, then you're going to be fine on that. Um, and Brian, too, makes a makes a good point. Thank you very much for this, Brian. Um, people are already using cashless systems and still get scared. Come on now, people. I just want the <laughs> technology for possible investment opportunity. <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing, guys. It, it's it's going to be optional. Um and this is normal. This is a very normal reaction that people have. You know, any time that there's change, people get scared. It's been like that for the entire course of human history. I mean, we can we, we can go back to when the automobile first came out. You know, like when the audio when the automobile first came out, people were like, "Oh my God!" You know, your face is going to fly off, or there's going to be all these you know cars in the street. And uh, look where you are today. You're driving a car. Right. It's it's like that way with with any technology. I mean, you know, here's a good comment on that. It's human nature to reject change. And it is. Um, it just takes time and education. Um, and, and really, I think right now what we're sitting with with cashless slots is just a lot of people are unsure 
about the technology, and that's what we're here to uh, that's what we're here to teach you guys. Is this is how the system works? You know, there's a lot of misconception on uh, on cashless slots. You know, people thinking it's linked to your player's card, or it, you know, it's a direct line from the slot machine to your bank account, and that's not the case. Um, but cashless technology, this is something that is coming. Um, we are going to see it. It's it's going to probably hit pretty fast. Um, I know there there's a lot of uh, the system is ready. Um, I know that there's been a lot of approval processes that's needed to get done and stuff like that. And that for the most part is, is already completed. So this is definitely something that is coming. Um, but it is going to help a lot of people. Um, yeah. and that's, that's the main reason why we're here to educate you guys about it. And that's the main reason why we're, uh, we chose to have this discussion and this live topic about cashless slots, because this is something that it's going to help a lot more people budget appropriately. Um, if you know, like what Mark was saying, you know, you now have the option to leave your debit cards at home, leave your credit cards at home, you know, just come to the casino, you preload your, you know, preload your phone with how much money you're going to spend. And once it hits that limit, that slot machine is going to stop and it's not going to let you play anymore. Right. You know, so that's, that's a great thing for budgeting. Um, you know, we talk a lot about being responsible and being budget, you know, budgeting and that's what we talk about here on this channel so uh, you know and that's why we think that the technology is actually very good and i love and you know for the people that just came in here and then i'm going to let mark take over um the the thing that i love the most about this is actually the direct deposit because now you know so often and if you play in the casino a lot you know exactly what i'm talking about where you'll hit a jackpot and you're like, you know, wow, I just won five grand. And then inevitably you spend it there you at the casino. You, you put it all back in. <laughs> yep. Not with this system you won't right. because if you hit, you you can hit transfer to bank and it will transfer that to your bank account yep. and boop, you are done. It's not yep. letting you touch it. So yep. you got to wait till you get home. That's uh, right. That is phenomenal you can't do that with cash that that's that's pretty awesome so i mean in terms of budgeting this is really taking um this is a major win for responsible gambling is what it i is. agree it's a major win for responsible gambling yeah but uh anyway mark I'll let you yeah jump just in there. you know listen like it, there are people still to this day and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it um that don't use credit cards or debit cards for anything. They still go and, you know, pay their electric bill in person or their water bill in person, or they don't buy things from Amazon because they don't trust Amazon with their information. That is fine, guys. Like, that, we're not trying to tell you that this is coming in to take over all forms of how you can add cash to a slot machine. I just want to emphasize that, that this is just for the people that enjoy the cashless aspect of their lives. There are some people that never have cash on them. I keep cash here in the house, but in very limited quantities because I'm nervous that something's going to happen to it. Fire, whatever mm -hmm. the case is. And I actually prefer it in the bank, but that's just my personal opinion. A lot of people aren't like that. They haven't buried in mayonnaise jars in their backyard. That's fine if you want to do that. That's not going to change. But um, I think for people that like the convenience of the cashless stuff, but knowing that you can put all of these controls in place. And like Guide Guru is saying, is what is stopping someone from using the ATM after they reach their limit? Well, there is, there's nobody stopping you. But if you did implement the system into your casino visit, I'm hoping that you leave all of your other accesses to cash at home so that you do not even have the ability to use your debit card and ATM. Um, that's the ideal world that this would be for like this is this is what i would do is i'm like saying i'm going to go to winstar this weekend i'm going to say i'm going to budget 400 bucks so i will load 400 bucks onto the that account um on my app on my phone and i know that all cash my debit card everything is going to stay at home when i go up there so when i am done with the 400 i'm done and if i double my money i'll cash out you know and put it back into my bank account right away and just play off the fun money that i just won you know stuff like that i just I see it, and that's just, this is a personal thing, guys. I want you guys to understand that, that this is, we're not here to scare you and say, here it comes, like, cashless is going to take over everything. You're never going to be able to put cash in a machine. I don't think that's, it's, you're going to be able to put cash in a machine for a long, still be long, able long to time use coming. Cash, this is just, <laughs> you'll still be able to This use is cash. just, it's catching up with the world. Like, 
I'm surprised they haven't done, they didn't do this 15 years ago, to be honest. Like this is now just starting to become a thing. Um, but I assure you guys that just like with slot machines and how they have to, you know, be compliant and go through audits and everything, this is the same way. Uh, this is people's money at play here. Um, only certain machines will allow it, you know, things like that. So there's a lot of compliance going into this too. Like it's just not, you know, they're not going to just release it onto the world and then there'd be a ton of issues with it. Um, and that's why it's kind of a slow rollout right now. Um, but the technology is there. It's secure. It's in a way that, you know, is protecting everybody involved, yourself mostly. And I think it's just, I think it's cool. For me, it's cool. For you, it may not be, and that's okay. We're just letting you know that it's coming, <laughs> you know, and that it's not everything that you hear. Like, it's always, the devils are, the devil's always in the details. So when you see a news article and the headline is, cashless is coming to casinos, it's like, you got to look at the details and learn what it is that that actually means. It doesn't mean that the way to play the machines is changing. It's just that they're adding an additional layer on top of it for people that like the convenience. But again, most importantly, people that like to put those controls in place, because you can't do that with cash, not easily, but you can trust an yeah. app to say, you know, only allow me to play $75 on this machine or only allow me to play $200 a day or only allow me to load $500 at a time or, you know, whatever the case is, you get to set those parameters and they lock in place. And we didn't see this, but I would be, I wouldn't be surprised that after you set those things, that it doesn't allow you to change them for a certain period of time, you mm -hmm. know, because the purpose of those is to help you to better manage your money. Like that is the, this is what is required to do that. Having a cashless system on an app that is required to be able to do that. So you know, that that's my view on it. But again, guys, just remember, it's personal decision. You guys decide if it's going to be for you or not. Right. I mean, this is totally just an extra. It's 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 not this is not replacing cash 100 percent, guys. Uh, it's it's not. Uh, Rob, ha Rob has a has a comment here uh, that I was going to read. Uh, wouldn't the casino hate the fact that a jackpot winner money goes into a bank account uh, and no chance of uh, recouping um, that? Uh, wouldn't they hate that? So this is what is probably the hardest thing for the gambling public to actually grasp. And you would honestly not know this unless you worked in a casino. Um, today, more so than any other time in history, especially with social media and all eyes and corporate responsibility, casinos, game makers, all of these, everybody in the gaming industry is very, it's almost like a race to the finish line of who can be the, who can be the most responsible. You know, this corp, the corporate responsibility thing is huge. Um, companies now more than ever are wanting to be more transparent. Uh, they're wanting players to be safer. They would rather have you win money that night and go home with it because they know that you're going to be happier and you're going to have a better experience and you're going to be able to, and you're going to come back happier. They know you're as a gambler, they already know you're going to come back, but this is taking that responsibility factor to the next level. Um, so no, the casinos absolutely do not, uh, do not hate this. I think they're truly all for it. A hundred percent. Again, corporate responsibility is, is very, very big. Nowadays, there's a lot of eyes that everybody's got a phone, everybody's got a camera, everybody's recording everything 24 seven all the time. Um, and, and so the casinos are wanting to be at the forefront of that and be transparent and help. And almost every single casino that I've ever even known is a member of some kind of a problem, you know, problem gambling organization outside of the scope that the state requires them to be. So uh, again, the casinos are a lot more, um, a lot more sensitive to that than than one might think i'll let you go ahead mark yeah no i agree um and uh jerry uh, pace says mark and brantley i'm starting to agree with you on the safety features of the system i'm actually starting to get excited to try this yeah i that's that's what i'm focused on um i use cashless everywhere already so this is not a big concern for me um, I like the features, the safety features. That's what I'm really looking forward to because I think that 
I mean, I'm pretty good with my money already, but it's like this is an added step that I know that I won't overextend myself because there are protections that prevent me from doing so. And uh, we won't harp too, too much on that. You guys have heard us so far. And uh, Anna says the casinos will probably sell our data to slot manufacturers and other industries to make money. Guys, they're probably already doing that. Nice. But listen, <laughs> this is just a way to add cash to a slot machine. That's it. That's all this is. Um, this isn't the casino data mining information. Like all the casino gets to see is that you added money to a machine um, and that you played it or you didn't and you're cash out. That's all they get to see. Um, they don't get to see what bank you're using. They don't get to see what your total bank account balance is, anything like that. They don't get to see any of that stuff. That's all jailed off. All they get to see is that you added cash to that machine. And how did you do it? You did it through a secure NFC transaction from your phone. Um, you know, that's all they can see. Um, and yeah, they will keep record of how often it's being used because that's important information to them. If they want to install the system, they want to know it's being used, right? But they can't like backdoor into it to see all this sensitive information. And I think that's what probably a lot of people are concerned about. Um, that, right. that could be a potential. I mean, look, it's technology. Anything can happen. We've seen a lot of data breaches and stuff like that. But I think with something like this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on a whole other level of compliance um, that a lot of other online services just don't have to go through uh, because of that. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it. But if you are, I totally get it. I really do. I really do. Which is normal. I mean, it's again, very normal. Guys, all of your all yeah, of your concerns very are very you valid are, and very normal. I mean, we're yeah, not I, saying you know, we're, we're not calling anybody like out that. here, guys. Like that, what you're saying, we hear you because that is exactly. I mean, I won't even lie. Before Brantley and I saw this, I said this is a terrible idea. I, I think mm -hmm. cashless is a terrible idea because people are going to hook their bank account up and just lose their minds in a casino. They're just going to. Oh, I need another thousand dollars. I need another thousand dollars. I need another thousand dollars. And then until there's nothing left in their bank account, then they can't pay their mortgage or their, you know, vehicle bill or whatever the case is. That's what I thought. And so the first words out of my mouth and Brantley can attest to the first words out of my mouth, yeah. I said, what protections are in place from allowing people to just go nuts? And he showed us all of the stuff. There were settings in the app for what we were talking about, about limits and time you can put times on it so you only two hundred dollars every six hours you can do all that stuff um so when i saw that i said maybe this is something that would be cool and then i started to think about it more and more and that's why we made it a topic today because we want to hear what you guys have to say um about something like this because it's kind of a hot topic it really is it's it a is. hot it's, it's a hot you know, it's, it's a hot, topic. A hot which, topic which by the by the way guys this is a great time to also intervene because we have over we have 653 of you in here i actually think this is one of our busiest streams we've ever oh, had yeah. which is awesome we're going to start to do a lot more streams like this where it's very topic specific and we're going to have a new playlist that's just topics like this where you guys you know we get to discuss hot button issues like this Next week's topic on Sunday, so Sunday next week, uh, we're going to be talking about um, sweepstakes casinos. A lot of people have asked about things like Chumba and stuff like that. We're going to be talking about them. So that's going to be next week on Sunday. Um, so I uh, just wanted to plug that in there really quick. Um, but uh, I want to go back to something. This is actually a good point. Uh, th this has been brought up a couple times. So a AZ Wife uh, said so David agreed. Some banks won't uh, in uh, insure you if you gamble. It's in the fine print. So there are some banks out there. Um, if you do any kind of sports betting, you might have noticed this because there are some banks. Actually, I think Capital One is one of them. Uh, that you can't use Capital One cards with like sports books and stuff like that. Um, but this is going to be a little bit different. So obviously this is going to be something that, um, you know, obviously with time we're going to have to see because this is still a very new system. But um, you are actually correct, um, AZ Wife. There are some banks um, that actually do have some kind of gambling restrictions on there. But I don't think because it's it's not you're not transferring the money directly to a casino. You're essentially just transferring it out of your bank into an app that holds it. So since you're not transferring it directly to a casino, um, I don't think it will cause any issues. But well, that's something that we're going to have to wait and see. So that is a valid concern um, on that. Yeah, good um, comment. And uh, also, guys, just want to let you know, too, because uh, we've been doing this now for about 40 minutes. Um, at the end of the show today, we will be doing a little bonus round where we will still be answering any questions. It doesn't have to be questions related to 
uh, related to cashless. But at the end of the show, uh, we'll do kind of a little bonus round where we'll do some rapid fire questions and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, she's a slot mess. Uh, you guys are great. I watch them all the time. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Yeah, um, and Susan actually makes a good point here. Uh, you can use PayPal to fund your account either. I don't know if you can or not. I think you could. I that's think a thing that was though. in there. Yeah, I think you know, and there. and that's one thing. One thing that we will always say. So we're you know we do, we're trying to deliver you guys the facts of how this system actually works. There are still a lot of aspects that we don't know yet. Like with this, for example, like, you know, can you use PayPal? I don't know yet. Um, so that, you know, we will glad, we'll tell you um, <laughs> if it's an opinion or if it's a fact that we know, and that's not something that we know. Right. Um, but all right. I'll, I'll, uh, and uh, also with this one, um, with this one here, will there, uh, will there be fees? I don't think there are any fees. I truly do not think that there are, any fees on that whatsoever. But again, we'll have to wait and see. That's kind of something later on down the line. Uh, and David, $10 super sticker. Uh, <laughs> thank you, David, for that. Here's money. some cashless money. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you, David. Buddy. We appreciate that. Guys, super chat super stickers do help <laughs> us out a lot. So thank you very much. Thank and you, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll hand it off to, uh, to Mark to okay. take, uh, take over on some questions there. And uh, Denise has a good point. It's kind of like a prepaid debit card. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. I think that's a very good way to look at it. Um, I, I, you know, and there were some comments in here. I, I saw some that was like, you know, if you can't control your money, you shouldn't be gambling. In general, yes, but a lot of people like to gamble, and they're they think that they're good with their money, but they're not, and they will never admit it. <laughs> you know, I think that there's yeah. probably a large part of us in here right now that can say that with confidence. You may not say it out loud, but you know, you know who you are, right? Um, some people you know, like to gamble, but they just, the willpower to hold back and to control cash in the pocket is really difficult. And the casinos are built for that purpose, right? Like they, they want you to keep playing. You almost got that bonus round. You know, you keep getting two symbols and just missed it. And you just keep putting cash and putting cash in there. And eventually you're just going to forget, you're like all logic and reasoning is going to go out the door, especially if you add alcohol to the mix. If you had something that is looking over your shoulder saying you're not allowed to play anymore today because you have reached your maximum $500, come back tomorrow. That is good for a lot of people. A lot of gamblers can use something like that. And unfortunately or fortunately, cashless is the only way to do that right now because otherwise it's very easy. If you guys have ever been into a casino before, even if you've gone past your ATM limit, you go to that cashier's cage, and if you have anything in your wallet, they will pull money from it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your exactly. gas card, whatever you got, they will try to pull money from it. Um, this is a way that you can bypass all of that completely and set your own limits and your own control and know that you have somebody watching after you in case you do lose control because a lot of people do have control initially and then something happens. You're adding alcohol to the mix. Your buddy next to you just hit a hand pay and you're real excited and you want to keep playing. I mean, there's all these reasons why your control can go out the window. But if you had something that was strict and forced you to stop playing, I think that's a good thing for a lot of people. Again, personal choice. Don't scare I don't want to scare anybody, um, but I, I'm looking at that as being a large well, and, reason and, why and I would two, want to start using something like this. You know, and, and two guys, you know, we can't, we can't stress this enough either. It's not replacing cash. These are not new machines right. or anything like that. You know, you're not going to walk into a casino tomorrow and all the bill validators are going to be gone. This is just an additional option. If you would like to use it, the system is there. And honestly, it is a very good system. It is a very good system. They've taken a lot of time and care to really develop this into something that is secure and very, very good. Uh, 999 super sticker from Jesus Slotmas. Thank you very much for Thank that. You, we really, really do appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank those you. super uh, super chats and super stickers. I do want to take this one really quick from uh, from okay. Julie. So uh, Boyd Casinos in Vegas are already using the cashless system. They have a Boyd Connect uh, player's card on phone, connect to the machine, Boyd Pay, your virtual wallet, instant jackpot, uh, hand pay with a pen. So there are a lot of um, – there are – right now it, it's – Cashless slot machines are really kind of in the baby phase right now. There are some other systems out there. I mean, we've seen it on cruise ships for years. You know, I remember, I mean, hell, like 10 years ago going on a cruise and I could put money on my 
little cruise card and you could use it in the slot machine. So, um, but this, this system that we're talking about today, it is really entirely different because it's taking it to a whole nother level uh, where it's not on a card or anything like that. It's not, uh, you know, not anything, um, you know, of that nature. So it's, again, there's a lot of other like little systems and stuff out there, but uh, you know, this is going to be something that's completely, completely new and different. So, um, which I think there might be some, you know, maybe Boyd is testing the current system. I don't know. Um, that's something I'd have to look into, but yeah, I do know that there are a couple of casinos out there that are using similar systems. Um, but we'll see it really develop over time. Yeah. Dr. That. Quinn in here said that uh, resorts world is also doing this. Uh, I haven't seen that yeah. there, but I guess they are. So that's cool. Um, Sue uh, gives us another uh, cashless <laughs> donation here for $20. Uh, David, I see your $10 and raise you 10. So here's cashless $20 for Brantley and Mark. Thank you so much, Sue. Well, thank you. Sue. really, really appreciate, appreciate that. It. And let's that's, see. That's, let's... that's a cool, that's a cool idea, Sue. I see your 10 and raise your 10. I like <laughs> yeah, that. Well, that's right. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> yep. And, uh, Vicky says that, uh, I'm one of these, uh, quote seniors. Uh, we will never call you a senior. Uh, mentioned in a comment, and I'm excited to see this. I don't like carrying cash, period, so I'd be thrilled not to walk around with cash in a casino. Uh, it makes people really nervous. I mean, um, if, especially if makes you get a big jackpot. <laughs> yeah. And you, yeah, I know. I mean, it, and not, not because of any nefarious reasons, but what if you ended up having a hole in your pocket that you didn't realize was there or your wallet falls out? or, I mean, people, all of these things can happen. Um, that's why, personally, as soon as I get a cash out ticket, I go to the thing and change it out for cash. Because if it's a thousand dollar ticket, I would much rather have 10, $100 bills. So if I lose one of those hundreds, it's not a big deal. But if I lose the 10 or I lose that voucher, that's a thousand dollars. It's gone, you know? So, you yeah. know, this is just a way that you can kind of ease some of those fears too, that, um, and even getting up off a machine, let's say you had 24 cents left on the machine which is not enough for even a minimum bet. Well, you just get up and walk and it puts it back into your account. You know, there's, there's some cool stuff there that's kind of built into it. And uh, let's see. And uh, stats. Oh, go ahead. Now we go see ahead, your Mark, super sorry. chat. We'll, we'll answer your question towards the end here. Uh, we'll, we'll do a quick fire at the end, but thank you so much for your uh, super sticker. Really appreciate it. Go ahead, Brantley. Um, let's see. Uh, Big Iron has a has a comment here. This is really good to give us an update. It shows Cowboy Slots are looking out for us and updating with new information. Thank you guys. You do a great job. Well, thank you very much. You know, and that's all we're trying to do here, you know, guys. We're not trying to convince you guys, you know, one way or the other. You know, we're we're just trying to let you know that this this system is coming. You know, this is how it works. These are the features that the system offers. You can expect to start seeing it in a lot more places. You know, probably I, I think the adoption rate is going to be fairly quick. Uh, for this. But as for like Mark and myself, you know, we don't care if you guys use it or not. We're just <laughs> yeah, here to no. educate you about, That's you know, right. about the system. Totally itself, your opinion. You know, yeah, you could do whatever you want. It's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent. I mean, uh, you know, our opinion, my opinion is very favorable of it because I think yeah. it's going to help a lot of people. It really is. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of people that like Mark said, you know, you, you get into the casino and you lose control and, you know, you just start going full tilt and spending all your money. And now you have something that prevents you from doing that. So, uh, I think that um, I think this is going to be a great a great system. Mark and I both had favorable opinions of it, and uh, we're just here to tell you about how it works. And so that way, when you see it come to your casino, you're not nervous to try it, and you already right. know ahead of time. You know so, exactly what it's going to um, do. Yep. You know exactly what to expect from it. All right. Let's see. We had some other comments in here. Um. Amanda says, say I don't use it in the beginning. I add cash to the machine, but then I get a big jackpot. Can I choose to have the jackpot deposited via the app? I love to use it as a lockbox. I, you know, that is a detail I'm not really sure we got an answer to. Um, it was a very quick demo, guys. <laughs> but uh, that, that would be cool. I would like that feature, too, um, just to be able to use it when you want to, especially if you just want to have a jackpot just sent right to your bank account. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to look out for that. To see if that's going to be possible and <laughs> logical mystery can't wait for the superstitions to start you'll win less with cash. oh yeah oh, they will be here <laughs> they will they start will they always do i think you've already started one 
They 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 always do. They uh, always actually. do. That's right. Yeah. And no, uh, it's... <laughs> let's see. If you see any, yeah, uh, Brantley, go ahead and. Uh... I tell you what, All we right. got we got ten minutes left here. Um, yeah, we can do some rapid fire. Uh, we're stuff gonna do our bonus so round here, so we'll we'll do our open it up to any general uh, Q and A. We're just gonna do ten minutes, kind of quick fire here. So if you guys got any additional comments on this topic or anything else, go ahead and start asking us now, and uh, we will uh, pick up your question and go from there. And uh, stats with the super chat says is the uh, paper rock scissor slot predetermined? No, it is not predetermined. Um, basically, two things are happening there. One you are picking one of the three potential possibilities, paper, rock, or scissors, right? But after you determines if you want or not, then a little wheel spins around where you get what your credit value is. So that is not predetermined. Uh, so you really do need, as soon as you push that button, it's stopping the RNG just like it would any other spin. So uh, no, not predetermined. Yep. Exactly. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a bonus round, just quick fire. So uh, if you guys have any uh, any questions, we're just gonna give you uh, very. Now this is the bonus round, so this is gonna be quick fire answers. We're not gonna get into a whole lot of detail or anything like that. But if you guys just have general questions, uh, you can uh, you can ask us, and then we will uh, we will let you know. Uh, let's see. How was your uh, how was oh, your sorry. trip to uh, Reno? Uh, was it profitable? Uh, honestly, the the Reno trip the Reno trip was I mean we had good luck on some machines bad luck on others it just happens um, but we really didn't you know play a whole lot outside of just a couple uh, a couple of machines um, the city of Reno is, is nice I mean you've got Lake Tahoe there uh, would Reno be my first travel destination no there, there's other travel destinations I'd much rather prefer um, and so yeah that's just my opinion on it but mark i don't know about you if you want to yeah i mean he, um here's what i would do if you're flying into reno get a rental car or take a shuttle go to lake tahoe and stay mm -hmm. in one of the four casinos that are right there on the state line um we visited two of those casinos harrah's as well as um hard rock and we do have videos from both of kind of a walkthrough uh if you are a low denomination player these are great casinos for you to be at. Um, they are not set up for high denomination craziness like Reno and Las Vegas is. Uh, so a lot of your classics that you like playing, like single line pinball, they had them in quarters at the Hard Rock. Um, so you, you get some a lot better options. They had a ton of old machines, double diamonds in there that were dollars and quarters. Uh, so that's what I would do if I'm going to go back is stay at one of those instead. It's, and besides, it's way more beautiful down there than it is at Reno, in my personal opinion. All right, and uh, just looking for questions. If you have one, Brantley, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I've actually got a couple. Of, again, guys, this is going to be a quick fire round, so you guys are going to get yeses and nos <laughs> for these. <laughs> um, so uh, again, this is this is just kind of the bonus round. So uh, Rob says, any chance of visiting the new casino in Phoenix that just opened? As of right now, no, but there are a lot of new casinos that are coming up in Phoenix. Um, really quick for those of you that are unaware. Uh, last year, the state of Arizona ratified the gaming compact with the tribes, allowing them a lot more casinos. So if you live in the Phoenix area, you're basically going to be living in a mini Vegas in the next like, five to <laughs> 10 years. So there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming, uh, but no plans as of, as of yet. And uh, Jay Boris says, I see that you're in the new house. Congrats. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm actually not in my house right now. Um, there is a three-month wait time to get internet at my house. So I'm at a friend's house right now. That's why I don't have my mic and, and all of that. Um, but uh, as soon as I can get internet installed, and I've been calling them constantly, uh, then I will give you guys a little tour of the new house. So that's great. All right, uh, Mark, go ahead. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm going to say it one more time about this new cashless thing, guys. This is optional. This is optional. Casinos are not going to go 100% full cashless. It, it, probably not even in our lifetimes. I think it's going to be 10 or 20 years before they even entertain something like that. So even if a casino starts advertising that they're now cashless, it is not 100% cashless. So just try to keep that in mind. That, you know, they're not going to just exactly. do away with cash. All right, let's see what we got. Um, and Ann says, class two machines playing bingo. So the machine you play doesn't matter, right? No, uh, you really should focus on your denomination when it comes to bingo style games. Um, that's going to be the key. Um, it really doesn't matter. One thing that was suggested is that because it's all bingo patterns, 
if you are playing one, look for the one that is kind of the opposite of what we say for regular machines. Look for the one that has the highest uh, jackpot um, because if you're going to get that bingo card, you want to be the one that has the highest uh, payback for that particular bingo card. Uh, so a lot of them, like cap it on the single pay line, you have like 2,500, 4,000, and then 10,000. I would sit down at the 10,000 one because if you're going to get it, you want to get the biggest one. Um, that's really the only thing, and that's a really difficult one to get anyway, so don't try to <laughs> think that you're going to just get that off the bat. And uh, let's see. Ever visit Seminole Casino, Coconut Creek, in Florida? We have not visited any casinos in Florida. Uh, we may be out there eventually, but uh, no plans currently. And a lot of Vegas says, is the cash wheel behind Mark a good machine to play? Absolutely. If you can find it, uh, Aria still has some in quarters and dollars. Uh, highly recommend those. It's over by the, uh, the parking entrance. Uh, so if you go down there by the burger place, there's a bank of them there. Really cool, good machines to play. And uh, last one, I'll hand it over to you, Brantley. Uh, Shelly says uh, from Facebook, is the payout the same when you choose between bonuses, free spins versus instant pay? Uh, so, no, the payout has not been decided. Uh, it is putting the control into you. So this is a volatility play. So if it gives you the option of, say, taking 10,000 credits or playing free games, basically one of those is going to be more volatile. And in that case, the more volatile play is going to be the free games because you don't know what's going to happen. Whereas the 10,000 credits is guaranteed. You're going to go ahead and get that right away. So it's really a personal decision. Do you want to make a riskier bet? If you want to make a riskier bet, do the free games. If you want to just take the win because you don't want to push your risk, take the instant payout. All right, back to you, Bradley. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna start wrapping up here. I'm gonna take a couple more. Um, so Hassan has uh, this question is actually really good. Um, so I might take a little bit longer than a rapid fire on this one. So problem is. Uh, you take physical money out of the equation, your brain disassociates losses, so you feel like it's not real money. So uh, when you do less, just like gambling online, going to go until 100% faster. So I 100% agree with you on the first part of your statement, because it is very true. If you remove physical cash, then it's you, you do have this disassociation with money. That was the biggest problem that we saw when we moved from coins to cash to ticket. However, the biggest thing that is different about cashless is the app has blocks and limits and prevention measures on it. So when you go to the casino, you know, you're out in the parking lot and you're like, I want to bring $500 into this casino. I don't want to gamble any more than $500. You put that in your app, your limit's $500. You hit that five, $499.99 and you get ready to roll over to that last penny, that slot machine's going to stop. So that really, you're not able to go full tilt. So it's it's a lot more uh, a lot more secure uh, when it comes to that. Um, and again, you know, we, we've we've got a couple more on these on these here, guys. Um, so Jim B says, I don't like it. Now you're letting the bank know what you're doing or where you're at. Okay, everybody on here, all 632 of you, you're on the internet right now. Government already knows what you're doing. If you use a bank account, the bank already knows what you're doing. You use Amazon, Amazon already knows what you're doing. The bank already knows what you're doing. Uh, you know, just just like this one. Get ready for the IRS to know. The IRS already knows where all your money is. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> Jesus. All right. If you're on the internet, guys, the, the government already knows about you. If you have a driver's license, the government knows about you. I don't know how, how else to make that any more clear. But... Um, so uh, anyway, uh, Mark, do you see uh, any um, – uh, actually, you know what, this is This is another good one. Wouldn't you be able to override the limit you put in the parking lot? So, Brian, this is actually one – Mark, you, you, I think you talked a little bit more about the limits and you got a little more in the weeds on it. Yeah, you want so, to clarify that one? Yeah, so for this one, um, we didn't see it because it was a very quick demo, but I fully expect what they're going to do is when you do put those limits in place, there's going to be a time period in which you cannot change them. Uh, so there'll be a 24 hour lockout or something like that, um, because otherwise it makes no sense, right? You're just going to do what you just described. You're going to go in the parking lot and say, ah, I changed my 500 to a thousand. Then you're going to go back in there and play again. Right? Uh, so I would fully expect of them to put lockout changes. Like you cannot make changes for a certain amount of time, something like that. Exactly. All right, guys. Well, Hey, just as a quick reminder to, um, you know, because we were unable to get to, uh, you know, actually, you guys did really good today. Uh, pretty much every single question that we had was about today's topic. So uh, that's yep. that's awesome. Uh, we're going to be doing more shows like this that, that's very 
topic specific. Um, next week on Sunday, we have the topic of sweepstakes casinos. Cause I know a lot of people have been asking like, you know, what if you play, there's a bunch of them out there, but I know Chumba is the most popular in lucky land. A lot of people have been asking about sweepstakes casinos and next week on Sunday for our show, we're actually going to be breaking those down and we got a lot to show you. So, um, that's going to be the topic for next week guys on Sunday, 7 PM. So make sure that you are subscribed, uh, and you have the notification bells, uh, set so you know when we're going to go live and all of that but um anyway leave your comments down below at the end of this video um on the video about if your thoughts have changed about cashless since this yes. uh since this presentation and um and i think we'll also, uh, guys we'll, we'll, yeah. i think we'll also post a, a topic we'll pin it to the top on our forums at rope the jackpot.com uh so if you guys want to get a, a healthy healthy let's stay let's stay calm <laughs> let's have a healthy <laughs> uh discussion um we love to hear your uh, viewpoints i'm sure others will too um, so head on over to uh, ropeajackpot.com. You can sign up for the forums, community forums there, 100% free. We don't sell your information or gather your emails or anything like that. We just like to have a healthy discussion amongst people. Uh, so we'll probably start a topic thread there about uh, this very topic and uh, love to hear your comments there as well. Absolutely. And guys, uh, we do still have uh, uh, thank you, Clara, for reminding me. Um, tomorrow is also Member Monday. So if you are a member of the YouTube channel, then you can join us for an additional live stream uh, tomorrow. So um, anyway, guys, um, yeah, leave your comments down below about what you think. Join us on ropethejackpot.com for, um, uh, for a discussion on this. And next week, we're going to be talking about sweepstakes casinos. Uh, anyway, guys, it's going to conclude our show for today. So thank you all so much for joining us here. Uh, we really do appreciate all the likes, the subscribes, and the follows. So thank you so much, guys. As always, best of luck. Stay safe, and we will see you again next episode. Take care.